So it is once again time for another episode of the best Nova Launcher setup. So without further ado, let's do this. So first up, we have Data's setup, something a bit different here, a white wintry vibe for this home screen, but I really like what we've got going on. Starting with that wallpaper, this is taken from the Minimal UI Zuper widget pack, and this is obviously what gives this setup that wintry look and feel, and I'm always a fan of mountain and sky backdrops, so I like this one a lot. Moving up the top there, we have two separate widgets kind of squished together to look like one. So firstly, we have a Google search and status bar widget, which incorporates the date, time, battery indicator and network signal. And then below that, we have a weather widget. Both of these widgets come from the Trident 2 Zuper widget pack, and it is quite different, but for some reason, I actually quite like this block style. It fits with the white color palette in the setup and provides for a nice distinction for all of that information up the top there. Coming down the bottom, we have a white dock of application icons. The dock has actually been made using a highly customized Trident 2 Zuper widget, which pretty much only retains that middle icon. And then I've added my own white rectangle as the background, and that middle icon serves as an app draw launcher. And then on either side, we have four application icons, which are all using the dark void icon pack. Data originally had some colorful icons there, but unfortunately he did not send through the icon pack to me. So I thought I'd take the liberty to tweak the setup myself and thought the black icons fit in nicely with the overall color palette. Just above that, we have a row of five application icons, although the two on the edge are actually folders, which means we have lots of potential functionality here. These app icons are taken from the ever popular Delta icon pack, which looks great. And aside from that, the app drawer has a bit of a unique zoom in and out animation, and it's a horizontal layout, which I haven't seen for a while, but a great setup that looks really nice. After that is Shamim's setup, a really nice looking yet functional setup. So let's look at what's gone into making it look the way it does. So first things first, I really like this ocean and sky wallpaper that you've got here. This has been sent through, so I'll link that below, but it really does help to keep the setup clean and attractive. And it also defines that subtle, less saturated color palette of the entire setup, which I really like. Up the top, we have a day, time and battery bar widget, which comes from the Minimo 2 KWGT widget pack. This has been slightly customized to add the battery bar in, but this widget looks really nice up the top there. It's certainly clear and very easy to read, but it doesn't flaunt itself if that makes any sense. Down below, we have a four by three set of 12 application icons, and these icons are actually a part of the same time and search bar widget you can see below that, which is a really unique approach to setting up your app icons. But this entire widget comes from the Andromeda KWGT widget pack and I really like the look of it. In the middle of that time and search bar widget you can see we also have a little circle icon which comes from the CandyCon icon pack and this is a folder for a whole host of applications but it also has a swipe up gesture which will launch whatever the first application in that folder is. A nice touch that really does fit the look of this widget. Other than that, the app drawer is triggered by a swipe up gesture, nothing too special about that. And I've set up the icon pack for the app drawer to use the Fluxo icon pack so that it matches that home screen widget a little more. But aside from that, another really cool setup with lots going on. And finally today we have our pit setup. As you can see, this one has a really cool color coordinated look going on. So let's get into the details. So starting with that wallpaper, I've mentioned before how effective these sorts of wallpapers are because of all of that space around the edges and that lets us place down application icons and widgets and so forth whilst ensuring that they still really stand out. So good call there. I also really like that Japanese-esque red moon and tree vector in the middle and I definitely really like that you've built everything in your setup around that red color palette which obviously stems from that vector there. So moving up to that battery indicator, time, date, and weather widget at the top left there. This comes from the Trident 3 Zuper widget pack, and the colors have been altered here to match the overall colorway of this design. Down the bottom, we have two rows of application icons, five up the top, six just below that, and these are using icons from the Sagon Circle icon pack. These have a really unique and slick look to them, and once again, blend perfectly with that overall color palette. Aside from that, swiping up takes us to the app drawer, which is categorized neatly into four different pages. So we have apps, Google, games, and stock applications. I really like that setup there. But other than that, a really neat setup with a unique look about it. So great job. Aside from that, that is it for this episode. Don't forget to let me know which of the setups was your favorite and why down in the comments section below. But that is it from me. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you later.